So I'm doing a video here of the Fresh Roast SR540 um, home coffee roaster. And I'm gonna use the factory settings for this roast, which are kind of curious. They're fan level five, power level nine, which is the heat. And I'm gonna use that um, the whole way. And I uh, just thought I would use it um, just to see you know, what kind of roast it would produce. Uh, so here I am I'm gonna charge the roaster with 120 grams. Uh, I think it's about four, four and a half ounces of green beans. And I uh, got artisan going in the background there. And uh, so I knew this was gonna be a really uneven roast. As you can see right now, the beans are just sitting right on top of that. The heat source, there's really no movement at all. But, um, you know, I just thought it's probably not gonna be optimal. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be drinkable. I think it's going to end up like uh, some of these roasts that are called black and tan. <laughs> the question is, is how black are the, is, are the dark beans going to get uh, and how kind of burnt or um, acrid and um, ashy they're going to get. Is it going to be like licking an ashtray or is it going to be more like a nice French roast like the so-called um, French silk type of roast. And actually you can hear a couple pops uh, from beans way at the bottom. And the beans on top have not even started moving at all. I turned on the light just there. Those, you can hear some small cracks there in the background. So again, uh, and on the other end, you've got the dark beans, then you're gonna have a lot of light beans. And, you know, are the light beans gonna contribute uh, some nice brightness and probably not any fruitiness, but some liveliness to the cup. Or is it going to be just sour and grassy and malty and, and like green peppers or something? So this is just an experiment. You can see, I'm going to let it run the whole way. <clears throat> you can see that that temperature is climbing. Um, up to over 400 degrees, right? Like 409 right here. And this is normally when I would, somewhere around 400 is normally where I would mark my first crack. Um, it's really not a clean way to kind of determine when first crash, but you can hear it pops kind of more regular right here. So I'm probably going to mark it um, right about here just for the sake of marking it. <laughs> but again, I've heard pops the entire way. And just going to let this run. Now this bean is the um, Legacy Farms Honduras, the washed Lamperia. And it's a bean I'm real familiar with. I've roasted a lot. I like the bean. And I've been doing a lot of different profiles. And I thought I'd just throw this in the mix and just give it a taste. Um, and of course going to report back on how that tastes. So you're getting, now you're actually getting some movement in the beans. <laughs> so actually this would be, this would I, this is what I would call good movement in the beans. Um, and it's taken, you know, almost three minutes here. And it's quite honestly, this is pretty close to where I just hit the cool button. I just wanted to get some of those lighter, lighter beans to at least get up a little bit more in temperature. Try not to create a fire on the, on the beans that are a little bit darker. Now, if anything, if this was a normal roast, I might actually start backing off on the fan a little bit. Um, or actually, it's, it's about right where I would leave it. Um, I wouldn't go much more active than this. But here it looks like I'm gonna call it. Hit the cool button. So I hit the cool button, I turned up the fan to nine. It automatically turns the heat off. And so that is my roast. And uh, here's the um, here's the result. Um, and as you can see, quite uneven. Now I did weigh the beans, and it was a 14% loss of weight. So that's you know it's an average. Obviously, <laughs> there's beans that lost probably 16%, 17, 18, 19, 20 down to maybe 11 percent so uh i just want to know how how good or how bad is this actually going to taste 
Okay, so it's been a couple days since I roasted and you know, looks are one thing, but the question is, is how did it taste? And I would say, uh, just to cut to the chase, you know, it wasn't that bad. It was about what I expected, which was, you know, a black and tan style roast. How I would describe the flavor is if you made a drink, one third Pike Place, one third of the Starbucks Blonde Roast, and maybe like one third of like a Dunkin' Donuts or a McDonald's uh, drip. So it's definitely roast forward, little bit of roasty char, but not, you know, objectionable. It's drinkable. It's very recognizable as coffee. Now I did also try this 48 hours after roast. And at that point, some of the oils um, started coming out a lot more and I brewed it on a V60 and the V60 tends to kind of push forward some of the brighter notes. In a, in a, and it also the V60 um, brew I did, it went a little fast, which also might have helped me with not pulling out so much of the bitter, char, roasty notes. And if anything, maybe even pushed it a little more sour. And I did kind of get on that V60, Maybe it's like, am I getting sour here? I was getting definitely some more brighter notes. It was more complex cup. To me, it was a more interesting drink than the cupping roast 24 hours after roast. So in summary, the factory setting profile, you know, only if you're a black and tan fan or maybe you're just curious, uh, yeah, give it a try. But let me give you three other profiles that I think are better, good starting points. Uh, the first one I refer to as the Sweet Maria's profile. And these are some settings that they recommend on their tips sheet for this roaster. And it says, start the roast uh, with fan level nine and power level, which is the heat level between seven and nine. And then just adjust as you go forward with the fan going down with the fan speed. And this is a really good, um, profile if you like the um, origin flavors. So those are usually the fruity, the floral, all those little flavors that they list on the bag when you buy it from the supplier. So that's a, a really good sort of modern roast style of usually city to city plus is where it kind of excels. And then there's two other profiles that I like. I'm just gonna refer to them as the um, odd number profile and the even number profile and that just refers to what the heat settings are on one of them they're kind of odd numbers staggered odd numbers and the other one it's more even numbers and both of those um, I went back and forth I like them both it was really hard to decide very balanced cup you have some of those origin uh, flavors but you've also got you know your your deeper you know coffee flavor and chocolate and that kind of uh, flavor and it's very I would say a little more towards a crowd pleaser type style but I liked it a lot and so um, I hope you got something out of this video and uh, enjoy your roasting